Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we have this complex number in polar form and we need to raise it to the fifth power. So how do we do that? We do it very fast using this wonderful formula or theorem, the Mavre theorem, which is right here. If you have a complex number in a polar form or trigonometric form, look at here how simple it is to raise to a power. So let's see in this case what we get. We get z to the fifth power will be 3 to the fifth power parentheses cosine of 5 times 3 pi over 2 plus i sine of 5 times 3 pi over 2. And if you want to use parentheses here, it's fine. If you don't, you, it's okay. So we can simplify a little bit here. 3 to the fifth power is 243. And here we have cosine of 15 pi over 2 plus i sine of 15 pi over 2. And which is a good form. However, we can still simplify if you remember cosine as a period of 2 pi and sign the same story a period of 2 pi. So if we subtract like a, um, an even number of pi, we get a simpler form. What do I mean by that? Uh, let's take a look here. 15 pi over 2, right, is what? Uh, 6 pi plus 3 pi over 2. 2, right? 6 pi is 12, pi over 2, yeah, that's good. So that is the idea. This even number of pi disappears, so our complex number will be 243, and like I said, now we're going to have cosine of 3 pi over 2 plus i sine of 3 pi over 2. Let me erase. Okay, sine of 3 pi over 2. That is the answer, the simplest answer in this uh, polar form, but they want the answer in the standard form. So now we can change this, right? 243 and cosine of 3 pi over 2, that will be negative. No, that will be 0, right? Plus i sine of 3 pi over 2. This is negative 1. So we end up here with z to the fifth power equals 243 times 0. That is 0. And this one becomes negative i times 243. That will be 243 i. So z to the fifth power yeah, has a very simple form here, 243. Three, five. Okay, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.